And look at that. Oh, oh, oh my god! And it's full of the syrup, look. It's just oozing the syrup. It's the festival of Holi this month and Holi is all about colors and celebrating with family and friends um, and lots of delicious food, of course. Uh, but I personally find that the focus is a lot more on the sweet uh, desserts during Holi and one of that is uh, really crispy, sugary jalebis. Jalebi brings back so many memories because it's not only a great dessert, Indian sweet, but it's one of my favorite breakfasts as well. Yes, <laughs> that's right. Uh, because um, you, they sell it fresh in the morning as well. And one of the shops near my parents' house in central India sells piping hot samosas with piping hot jalebis and when I visit a home uh, that is my favorite uh, breakfast piping hot samosas with jalebis oh my god they are absolutely divine I'm not saying in any shape or form that I know the exact right recipe for jalebi um, but I have got this recipe which is quick and can be made quite quickly at home uh, because the traditional one would you would have to soak the batter overnight let it ferment but this one is a quick nice easy version so I'm going to start with some plain flour here to this I will add some corn flour some baking soda or bicarb of soda and some natural yogurt and next goes in some water that looks like a really good consistency not too runny, not too thick, just kind of droopy. And I'm going to let this rest for 15 minutes. So the next important bit is to make um, the sugar syrup or what we call chashni. Um, and for that, I have got a pan and um, some granulated sugar. I have got golden granulated at home, so that's what I'm using that goes in and also goes in just some water and we're just going to let the sugar melt and quite important I am going to add a pinch of saffron for the lovely color and for the flavor I'm just going to add some ground cardamom and I'm just going to let this cook and in another pan I'm just going to fill it up with some oil sunflower oil traditionally and still actually uh, people like to make this in ghee um, but I like oil right so you can see that uh, the chashni which is the sugar syrup is done all the sugar is melted and the reason for this color like I said is just because I've used golden uh, sugar and not normal sugar but you can use either so I'm going to take it off the heat now right so it's been 20 minutes I'm just going to beat a, a little bit and then this mixture will go in a piping bag here just gonna Drip it straight into the piping bag. Now, when people make this in India, um, in the shops, they use a thick cloth uh, instead of this plastic piping bag. And there's a hole in there and they use the cloth again and again and again. Um, so it, it's quite amazing. I've also seen in Kolkata once um, while I was traveling there, um, they were using uh, the coconut shell 
um, and that was just and he had the butter in and he just used the butter and a hole in the coconut shell and he was just making these jalebis like just so impressive time to fry these Oh look, I forgot about this one, to turn it over. Oh my god, look at them! They look so fantastic! Right, so once they are a lovely golden colour, they go into um, the syrup that's sitting next to the pan. And once um, these are golden on one side, just going to turn these over. They look fabulous. Oh my God, they go in for a dip here now. And you can hear them sizzle when they go into the syrup. And you can see they're soaking up the syrup. Just turn them over. They are looking perfect. And here they are piping hot jalebis. Um, this is the real color of jalebis um, in India and actually um, some places make it with the orange color and from where I come uh, central India we don't add food coloring to the jalebis that's the natural um, golden color it has. Look at that. Oh, 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 oh my god and it's full of the syrup look. It's just oozing the syrup. Mm. Oh my God. It's gonna be so difficult to stop at one. Oh, so difficult. Mm. They're crispy. And full of syrup inside. Oh my God. Lovely. The key is to enjoy them nice and piping hot. That's the key. So you can make the batter uh, and then fry them fresh. You saw it only took minutes and enjoy them fresh. When we had some leftover jalebis uh, when we were little, next day, um, and mum would store it in the fridge, the leftover jalebis, next day we would soak it in some uh, milk, like cornflakes or any other cereal and have it as cereal and it was just amazing uh, I haven't done that since whenever I'm going to save some and have them tomorrow but whatever you do I hope you're going to enjoy these bye mm. I told you I won't be able to stop at one <laughs>